is Kindergarten 998, and welcome back to our vanilla RimWorld playthrough. Uh, this is 1.3, and there are no mods in this episode, too. By the way, for the people who just saw this and clicked, off, clicked on it. Anyways, so uh, when we last left off, we had some crops growing. Uh, we had a tailor bench for tailoring clothes because it's cold. A research bench, and now we have lights near them, too. And a fueled stove. Uh, the, the freezer doesn't have any freezing yet, so it, food spoils fast. Uh, we have the storage room. We have the bedroom where they all sleep in the same room with the dirt floor, and they all sleep on the floor with three different sleeping spots. And then we have a bedroom up here. So, for starting off this episode, the first thing we should probably do is just get rid of all the sleeping spots because we don't need that. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is create a sleep schedule thing, because... Wait, where? Okay. So we're gonna create a sleeping schedule for them. And then we're gonna have them all work, because otherwise they're not gonna get any work done. Because sometimes the problem with this is they'll be sleeping just because they want to sleep. Or and stuff, but we're just gonna do it this way, because... Then they actually, like without like just going crazy they actually do some work because if you have to set to anything then they just won't do anything and we can speed this up to x3 all right so so we need defenses that's gonna be our second thing of the day oh, none of them have claimed their beds yet but meanwhile who is our research person uh, so they're also busy plant cutting and growing and ordering and handling. So, oh yeah, another thing we do is we have a cat and we need to tell the cat where to go and where not to go. So it's the zone is going to be. Now we're going to create a clear allowed area or expand allowed area. Manage areas, new area. This is gonna be kind of stupid, but, but and we're gonna expand area area two. Then we put area two only. Oh, I, all right, that's fine. We put area two only in the freezer. Then we manage it. Then we invert it. So now it's anywhere but the freezer. And then we go to our animals and we make Fernanda the cat be anywhere but there. And now we should probably move the sleeping spot to one of these rooms so they have a potential to get nuzzled more. Because if they get nuzzled, it improves their mood. Meanwhile, let's check this guy's needs. Uh, his mood's doing good. His food's okay. His recreation is kind of low, though. So we're going to build another horseshoe pin. Or actually, for the sake of all the like, uh, like different recreations, we're going to build a chess table and then if it like snows or something they have somewhere to go where's our recreation i'm yeah i'm not focused right now very well all right so we have all this stuff in there cooking uh we have here uh so the room is actually uh cleaner without floors than with floors it's right now because Unless we had someone assigned to cleaning that non-stop, so we're just gonna do it that way. Oh, uh, we have 30 components, so we're gonna restrict those until someone actually has something that we should use components on. And then mining-wise, I kind of want to mine some steel a little bit. But we don't do traders. All right, I don't really see a need to mine too much steel right now, so we're just gonna skip that. Uh, all right, so it's between these guys. What is this guy doing? Building a wooden chair. And this one is sleeping, so obviously we're gonna make this dude do some stuff. Okay. So we could sell them the bolt action rifle, but that was not a decent amount. And then I don't think we really need these synth red pants. Because we have the person using them is wearing flak pants, which have more armor. And then I'm thinking we also send them our- Oh wait, they don't even have that much to- They, they can't even buy that. Uh, 
Well, I guess we'll just sell them as many survival meals as we can scam with them. Boom. We just joined it. Like, seven pieces of four silver, which isn't a whole lot, but it adds up over time. And, like, if we get enough, we might be able to afford something like a sniper rifle or something useful again. Because this guy's got a sniper rifle. Which means that if we need to hunt, they can. Meanwhile, we're gonna set all these elk to be hunted. This, this is because I want elk to just get this, the skin. I don't think we're gonna be able to save, or actually... Yeah, because we're not gonna be able to refrigerate them. We don't actually want to get three elks worth of meat. Because I don't think we're gonna be able to... Ooh, did we get a bunny? I don't recall setting a bunny to be hunted, but whatever. Uh... Yeah, we got a lot of, like, bugs on this map. I didn't realize we had caves here, but that's fine. Insect jelly. Yeah, at one point, we might want to actually go get the insect jelly, because I think it might boost our mood, but I don't remember. Then, if we're going to set up a mining area, we want to set it up a, a ways away from down there, where all that steel is, because if an infestation happens, then I don't want it to be right next to our base, and I want some time to prepare. Meanwhile, we don't have a whole lot of leather stuff, and our cotton isn't growing very fast, so... I think we're gonna set up a mine. And I'm looking for a place where we haven't mined a whole lot yet. Because I want to mine out, like, a tunnel, but I don't want it to be so far away that it's gonna be completely useless. Probably if we just set it through there, because they only, in infestations, they only guard like 50 tiles of their nest. Or actually, no, that's a bad idea. We, we want to cancel that, because we, we're probably going to expand in that direction, and that that's approaching the 50 tiles thing. So if we put it here, then that'll be, that'll be much better. And then who's on mining? Alright, we'll put it at 4 after they've done cleaning and stuff, because we're actually, actually, we want to, we want them to mine now. Where is the mining thing? We set it up to there, because we want to get a, we, oh yeah, the whole reason why we're mining right now is to get the, we want to be able to have, um, stone bricks, which we can then use to make into barricades, which are strong, and they provide a decent amount of cover. Meanwhile, uh, we have some sandstone, apparently. We can build, like, uh, some wood walls. A banished from kin- What is this? So, apparently they're banished, though. Uh, they don't have- Ooh, they do have that double passion, though. And then, uh, what? I can't. Alright, we're gonna have to go to the factions thing. Kin League of Tamago, so. If they're a banished, does that mean we can put them in prison? And then we can recruit them? Or does that mean that we can't recruit them? Or, well, we could. We could recruit them either way, but they would just become hostile towards us. Okay, so now we have a decent amount of plain leather, so we can use that to make some stuff. Make any stone blocks, do forever, and then zone, dumping stockpile zone. Here, the storage is gonna be for, uh, only stone blocks. Well, we don't want any of that, we just want chunks. And then, uh, or actually, we can also, if we set this one to important, and then we create some alt other stockpiles, we can use the stone blocks as, like, sandbags, es essentially. Alright, we're probably not going to be able to get all of those, but then we get some of these, because they take five plain leather. Who is the researcher, or the crafter? So our main crafter is the Angie dude. 
which is also in charge of construction and mining and shooting, so... Crafting is now above mining. Alright, so we're doing pretty good here. Um, we got another harvest going down, so I think we might want to plant corn now. Because, at this point, there's not really much point in growing rice. Uh, and Fernanda now has the flu, so... We're gonna want to heal them. Timberwolf is hunting aimed Angie. So we want to get that dude, this guy, and then this dude out here. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade these guys to attack, or a scientist probably better for that. Attack, attack, and then we don't want them doing drugs, because otherwise they're gonna get an addiction. Uh, and then carry, we can do carry two of these. And then we don't want them to be on Glitter World Medicine, or else they're gonna be like taking the best medicine we have. Oh, that, that guy's not gonna get a hit in in time. So we send that guy in. Alright, we got the Timberwolf. This guy's health, uh, alright, he doesn't, I don't think any of those are permanent. That bruise, oh, is that bruise permanent? Wait, I don't know if that's permanent, but we can, so that guy, we send them to uh, rest until healed. And then who has the best medical here? Uh, alright, so it's- Oh, it's this guy! Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Alright, got another guy with medical, alright. So we need them to pick up medicine. Or, so, now we need Angie to go over here. And then, after- So now we send Shizuka over here. And then we- get Their gear, we tell them to drop that. Alright, there. And then that guy goes and gets their stuff. Oh, the Timberwolf is dead, okay. I thought that was a different one, and I was like, not again. Alright, meanwhile, this guy, his health... I... Is that tended? Oh, so he's been tended to already, uh... So immunity is progress progressing faster than the flu. Meanwhile, this person is finished up with those, and... Now we're gonna get some more barricades out. And then... So, the reason I'm doing this, with the walls in between, is so that they can have... So they can lean from in and out of the walls. And then that gives them an additional 50% cover, as well as giving them cover from the actual... Sandbags. Alright, so... I think that's an effective defense. I'm not completely sure, though. And then, for this defense, we're gonna put it right here, and, oh, they can go through all that, so, I'm thinking we just wall off that, and then we force them around the other side, which, for if they come over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, that's actually a kinda hard place to defend, now that I think about it, we might actually wanna wall off that side, then. We have a lot of places to defend now. So I'm thinking we just wall off this entire thing. And then here is the only place we have to defend, and it's kind of a choke point, so... Going 
that, like there, and like there. trying to figure out, I think we put it like that, and then, like that, that probably works. That's it for this video, but if you want to see more videos, then I suggest you go to the first video in the series, or if you've already seen that, uh, probably new videos coming out, maybe, and if you want to see those new videos, make sure to subscribe. And like the videos too, because it lets me know that you want it, and I will create more of them. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.